Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to build a kiosk form from scratch. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a form built in iPhone Builder, which I do right now, um, and I'll just open it up here. So if I scroll down, it is actually going to be called Kiosk Demo Form. So I'm going to open this up here, and I'm going to add a few fields to it here. So I'm just going to add a name field a company name field as well as an email address so this form here will be used for um, maybe a, a lead capture at, at an event just a very simple form um, so once we have this form built we want to actually go to the using iform kiosk link and I'll have that in the YouTube video in the comments um, but once you're there you want to actually go to the bottom kiosk branding zip and you want to download that file so this file is going to have all the the image names and just some sample images for you to see. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to once I open this up, you'll see these are all the images that we need in Kiosk. Um, so you need a background to link, uh, BG Kiosk for when it is in uh, in portrait mode as well as in landscape mode. You'll see here. Um, so these are all the different images, and what you can do is you can actually replace them with with your custom image and they have to be these exact sizes here that are, are defined. Um, so I'm not going to do that now just to save some time, but you'll see that once you, you create them at this exact same dimensions and once you download it, you will see that. Um, so let me just copy these. And what I'm going to do is paste them directly into Dropbox. So let me get my screen set up here. So I'm going to take all these and just drag them right over into Dropbox. Now, once it uploads all my files, then I'll be ready to, to link them up in my Dropbox account, on my iPhone Builder account, and, um, and then I'll be able to, to start using this. So, what I also want to do is I have a button here that I want to use for that when you tap on it, it'll open up the, the kiosk demo form that we built. So, if I open up my desktop here, I'll find that form. Tap here. So, I'm going to put that right inside of here as well. So now what we're going to do is actually set up the kiosk form with the graphics. Um, so what we want to do now is select, go into the form here and select edit. And then from here in our URL, we want to define the, the specific URL we want to show. We can tap on that button and it will start the form. Um, so I'm actually going to go into my kiosk demo. And since we're not using Dropbox integration, I'm using a public folder here in Dropbox. And I'm selecting copy public link. Then from here it will yield the public link to this exact image. Um, so I'm going to paste it into the URL bar here. And then inside the reference ID 1, we want to go into the Using iForm Kiosk page and scroll right beneath the video where it shows um, the page type kiosk option. And we're going to copy that. And what we're going to do is go back into the form builder and paste it here in the, the uh, reference ID 1. So we're going to put the X coordinate, which is going to be about, we'll do 200. The Y coordinate is going to be the, the north or south on the, on the device. So we're going to put about 500 there. Um, the icon width, we're going to have, I think I defined it as about 300. So this is probably from your, uh, say you created in Photoshop or wherever you created this image, you want to put that exact height and width in there. And this is how you're, you're placing it on the screen and with these, these coordinates. So once you're done, you want to hit Save Changes. Um, then from here, we can go into Company and Company Info and define the other images. So we can go down into here, select Edit Company Info. And again, we want to scroll down here. We'll see we have a splash link, background, and a background two link are the three ones we have to define. So in the kiosk demo, we want to go into Splash and again, copy this public link, any of them. Copy the clipboard, go back to iPhone Builder, and paste it in there. Now, instead of splash 320 by 240, you want to just call it, do splash.png because it knows to look up the different coordinates based on what device is being used. So again, we're going to copy the same one here. And in background link, we're going to put bg.png. Now, this is what needs to be defined because it will look up bg.png and look up the, the other files. So We'll go up into here, and you'll see we have BG Kiosk 705, 768. Um, it'll look up those based on the, the BG.png. 
Um, and then again, we're going to copy it one last time, put it in background two. And we're actually going to write in background two dot png. So then from there, it's going to look up the, the background two URL as well. Um, you can also define your custom buttons here if you'd like to, to, to make it, then spice it up a little bit more for your personalized colors. Um, so if we hit save, now it's going to save all those links. And on my device, I'm actually going to open it up here and I'm going to sync it up. So right now you'll see there is no graphics. Um, oh, and I just started kiosk mode. Just one minute. <coughs> so if you do start kiosk mode, you have to go back out of the device and then re-enter your password. All right, now it's going to be syncing, and you'll see since I have not updated my device, um, it's not not showing what is actually going on here, but it is downloading the forms and downloading the images from Dropbox and you'll see that they are showing up now on my form. And you'll see if I also turn it horizontal, we see our background two link. And just for demo, we haven't put any good graphics in here, but you'll see um, it just shows bg.png, so what file you have to, to point to. Um, so now if we select start kiosk mode, now we're ready to go. So I mean, in this BG kiosk 705 area here, I would put more of, more of your customized graphics. And then if I tap anywhere right around this tap here to register for our newsletter, it'll open up the current form that I built. So I'm going to go in and just submit one record here. Ben, my company name is Syrian, and my email, bray at zeriansoftware.com. I'll select done and select done again. Now, once I'm finished syncing up this record, it's going to push it to the cloud. And then from there, it's going to loop back to that main part of the form, and they can tap again for another registrant to register for the newsletter. So this is how you build a kiosk form from start to finish, adding in all the graphics, creating the form, and, and defining where you want that, that one or multiple graphics to go. Uh, please comment below with any questions, and hope this video is helpful. Thanks.